it was Ford Crawler in his prime. Hello and welcome back to our Psychonauts 2 That's playthrough. More like it. We're trying to rebuild the mind of Ford Crawler today. So he can help us take on Maligula. So we've traveled into his mind and it seems to have brought us to this campsite. So we're going to try and uncover whatever secrets lie here and figure out how to get him back to him, his normal self. We seem to be uncovering pictures of the original leaders of the Psychonauts. That's right. There were seven stumps at camp. Ah, uh, poor Helmet Fullbear. I guess I'll never get to see his famous psychodicy. Lucretia Mux. Huh. Wonder why she's not included in the Psychic Six. I mean, I guess because that would make it the Psychic Seven. But still, she must have been important, or Ford wouldn't have carved her. I think we gotta go that way. Seems like a pretty good hint. Not sure what all this is going to be leading to, but we're just going to go for it and hope that this isn't some sort There's of crap. To Ford in here. Looks like it's from Otto Mentalis. Pro, I think it's time we add a third psychic to our research team. Her name is Lucretia Mux. She's hoping to get out of Bulovia when her husband was just killed in the war. I know you have concerns about hydraulic mining, Ford, but with Lucretia's powerful hydrokinesis, we could wash the Cytanium out of these caves in no time. I... Sounds like the last person was Maligula. Lucretia Mox. Ooh. This is worse than I thought. Well, I seem to remember the inside of your mind wasn't so neat and tidy either. Agent Crawler, I'm here to help. I want to unshatter your mind. Yeah, don't bother. I've tried for years. Whoever dropped the kablooey on this mine really didn't want to put back together again. And to tell you the truth, there were some parts of this old brain that weren't doing me much good anyway. Who needs to think about the past all the time, eh? Some memories are best left alone. Now let's get out of here before that bacon gets cold. But Ford! <laughs> Now, I'm not saying it will be easy, but let's just go see Truman, and I'm sure he'll... Agent Crawler? Ford? Oh, man. I need to find him before I report back to Truman. What was that work he said he had to do? Something about mail? And hair? And shoes? Okay, so we gotta figure out where he is. Well, mail seems to be a good hint to head into the mail room, so we're going to start here. Agent Crawler, it's me, Raz. Permission to enter? Negative. Senior staff only. Ford, it's me. And who are you? <sighs> Don't you realize who I am? Wait. If Nick John Smith is mentoring interns, he must be senior staff, right? I'm telling my dad. I should talk to him. Special delivery. Oh, no. Mr. John Smith. Hang on, Nick. Oh, hang on, Nick. I'll get you out of there. Somehow. Do 
Special delivery. Oh, man. There you go, Nick. Now stay away from these machines. Hey, Nick, you're senior staff, right? Pony? Can you help me get into the back room? I need to talk to Agent Crawler. Flat rate. Look, Nick, I have a wild idea. Bear with me. If I get you a loner brain of equal or greater value to your own, then you help me get into the back room. Plus, I'll bet the loner brain will keep you safe from all this machinery. First class. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Now, where can I find a brain? That's... Sorry, booked up all day. I can wait. You sure as shampoo can, but unless I get a cancellation, you're out of luck. Two forts down. Only one more to find before I can go back to Truman. Got one. Agent Cruller, I need to talk to you. Sorry, Senior League hours. Only members of the Senior League allowed. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much left of the Senior League. Except for Compton Bull? No kidding. Huh. Under office number, it just says psycho isolation. Why would his office be in psycho isolation? Guess I need to get out there to find out. That's the final Ford. Time to debrief Truman. I think I'm gonna need his help. Alright, I guess we're going back up to the nerve center to see what he has to say. How we can put these three different pieces of Ford Kruller back together. Scanning access granted. Crawler. I got him to the base, but now he's locked in the bowling alley, and also the mailroom, and the hair salon. Hmm, sounds like he's reverting to some old behavior. He's no good to us like that. I think I could help him, if I could just get closer to him. But to get closer, I need to do some stuff outside the base. Hmm. Put your head near this brain, uh, thing. I should be able to... There! Full access. That should let you search the whole place, inside and out. Okay. I'll try to get Ford and bring him back here. No, Raz. You're going to find Ford Cruller, and you're going to fix him. You're going to make Ford Cruller whole again. This is just another mind in torment, Raz. It needs a psychonaut to fix it. And I believe in you, Raz. I know you're ready for this. Yes, sir, Agent Zanato. I won't let you down. I'll put Ford back together again. Godspeed, Psychonaut. All right, well, if that's going to be the key to open up the whole map to us, kind of open world style. So we have three missions. We need to get... Seems like someone to cancel a hair appointment. We need to go Standing to Psycho Isolation. And see Compton Bull. Welcome, Grand Head Sonato. And we also need to find a new brain for Hello, Nick. Side challenge for her. Yoink. So we have three smaller missions, and they're gonna involve going outside somehow. Now we have access to everything, we can actually leave here. Rasputin Delgado, please report to the front desk. You have a visitor? What? Okay, I guess we're going to the front desk. Oop. 
Rasputin Avocado, you have multiple visitors waiting for you in the reception area. What's Someone happening? Rasputin Aquato, please come down to the reception area immediately. Your visitors are creating a disturbance. Scanning for oh, fingerprint. No. It couldn't be. I wonder who's here to see us. Dad? Rasputin, my boy. Tell me, son. Did you show them? Did you show them all? Uh, well, yeah, we rescued Truman from the kidnappers, so... I guess? That's my boy. So I suppose that means you're running this whole place now. Dad, what are you doing here? What? Well, we're here to support you, son. We? Of course. You really opened my eyes about the whole psychic thing, son. I've been acting like a fool. I know that now. But your mother, I knew she'd need more convincing. She's not, after all, like us, psychics, I mean. You don't have to whisper that here. So, I thought if she saw where you were working and met all your new friends... My mom's here. Son, the whole family is here! Oh, no. been practicing your acrobatics? Uh, he's definitely let his muscle tone suffer. Hey, hey, hey! I think he's put on a little weight. Just what is going on out here? Rasputin, stop goofing around and explain yourself. Who are these people? We are the Aguatos! Traveling thrill givers and practitioners of the acrobatic arts! Great! Well, this is a highly restricted area. The campgrounds are over the hill. Now, if you wouldn't mind hauling that wreck off our landing pad. What did you say? If it's too much trouble to haul it, I could always burn it for you. Please, excuse us. We are Rasputin's family. We've come here to support him, not get in the way. We'll move our caravan to the campgrounds. Ah, uh, I want to play in the jet. Maybe your brother can give us a tour later. Whenever he's ready, he knows where to find us. Bye, Pooter. <laughs> <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> Alright, I guess we can go visit our family at some point, but we're going to go into psycho-isolation first and find Compton Bull. See if he can help us get the senior league ticket for the bowling alley. Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Hmm. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? 
Looks like there's a senior league membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? All right, I guess we got to use dialogue Hi, options. I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good. <laughs> Good. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh, no. W with what? I need help catching the mole and the psychonauts. Sorry, don't do moles. They're little snouts. Give me the heebie-jeebies. No, I mean there's a counter-spy in the organization. Oh, well, I'm retired from spy work. A danger to myself and to others, they say. Who would say that? Me. I need help fighting Maligula. Ah! You need to warn a gentleman before slapping him in the face with a name like that. She's long gone, but the scars are still painful. Someone's trying to bring Maligula back. Ah! Well, I, I suppose I had enough warning that time. Listen, Maligula is dead and gone. Even if she were to return, I was no help fighting her the first time. I'll be sitting out any future molecular battles for everyone's protection. For everyone's protection. I need a senior league membership card. What? Well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. Please let me borrow your Senior League membership card. No! Now buzz off! Mm, buzz off! Hey, hang on a second. Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one bee coming up. All right, I guess we're going out okay. in the forest looking Come for off bees. Come the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Bull. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. Hi! Ow! Oops! Sorry, little brother. I thought you were a rabid squirrel. Knock it off, crazy! <laughs> Frazy? I know it's you. I'm not stupid. Ah! <laughs> <gasps> ah! ah, crud, it's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh, that's what I thought. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee, and her father 
was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest. And when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so. Impaling them on her needles, filling them with holes. OK, if you could just let me down now. Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't give badges for. Alright, this looks like a beehive. Maybe we've done it. Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see an old friend. Swipe. Ooh, I got three. Even better. That's not good. Not so fast. Lizzie? So this needle witch is a whole bunch of bees. That wasn't included in the legend. Dang it, Pooter. I just got that thing set again. The green needle witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew. Okay. Better get these right. bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. Alright, well that's so going to do it for today's video. So come back and see what happens next time in Psychonauts 2. Thanks for watching and...